I would like to talk to you about the effects of electrical stimulation and ageing period on alpaca meat tenderness. So a little bit of background on alpacas in Australia. They were first introduced to Australia in 1989 and are traditionally used for their high quality fibre. However, there's an increasing, incre increasing interest and growth within the industry, which has led to the national alpaca numbers sitting at approximately 400,000 animals and a six-fold increase in the number of registered animals within Australia. These registered, registered animals include animals such as stud animals and show animals, so high quality. For a sustainable growth within this industry, utilisation of the whole animal is important and diversifying into the markets of meat and hide development will allow this to occur. It will also provide a viable economic alternative for animals that are not suited to fibre production. However, there's very limited scientific information available on our packer meat production and quality and there's an increasing interest from producers and processors within Australia who would like to diversify into our packer meat and hide markets as well as high quality fibre. Our packers have very lean carcasses and although this has very advantageous health benefits, it also makes them susceptible to cold shortening. Currently, there is no information internationally available on how alpaca carcasses respond to processing technologies. And there's very limited information available on the effects of aging period on alpaca meat. Electrical stimulation, as most of you know, is commonly used in beef and lamb processing plants within Australia. New generation technology, which is a medium voltage square, width, square pulse width, follows on from research conducted in LAM and is more safely conducted by the operators than high voltage electrical stimulation. It's a process by which an electrical current is passed through the carcass prior to rigour and it increases the rate of post-mortem glycolysis and prevents excessive muscle shortening during rigour. It also in turn reduces toughness. Aging of meat, again, which is quite commonly practiced in the red meat industry, improves meat tenderness by the myofibular protein degradation caused by enzymatic processes post-mortem. Polidori et al. in 2007 documented improvements in 24-month-old entire male alpaca and llama meat from two to seven days. However, this is the only information and the only study being conducted on our packers and or llama meat aging. So to address this major knowledge gap within the market of our packer meat and to allow information for processors and producers of our packer meat production, my experimental aim was to assess the impact of electrical stimulation and aging periods on our packer carcasses across various ages and between genders. The experimental design consisted of 50 Hakaya alpacas from three different age groups and two genders. They were grazed on the south coast of New South Wales, Australia for four months on coastal pastures prior to slaughter. They were slaughtered at a commercial multi-species abattoir which had to be chemolid certified and they were sorted in two batches two weeks apart. During processing, Immediately after exsanguation, the animals were immobilised, as seen in the image. Then, once dressed, the neck was removed and the carcass was split in half. The right side of each carcass was electrically stimulated using a manual electrical stimulation um, equipment, as you can see here, with the two prongs placed into one into the hindquarter and one into the forequarter of the animal and each carcass was electrically stimulated for 40 seconds. The carcass pH and temperature decline was recorded on the Longissimus thoracics at Lomborium, LL, and the semitendinosus, ST muscles. The pH meters were a temperature compensation and a, pro, a polypropenylene spear type gel electrode. 
Measurements were taken hourly from 35 degrees Celsius through to 18 degrees Celsius and then again at 24 hours. After 24 hours, the LL and the semimembranosus muscles were removed from each carcass. They were then vacuum packed for aging and due to the size of the LL muscle, we were able to obtain two shear force blocks that were allowed to be aged for five and 10 days at four degrees Celsius. However, due to the size of the semimembranosus within an alpaca carcass, we were only able to obtain one shear force block for aging and so we decided to age it for 10 days at four degrees Celsius as well. From here, shear force measurements were then taken and the results were analyzed using a linear mixed model. Looking at the pH decline of the semitendinosus, you can see here that the um, electrical stimulation had a significant impact on the rate of pH decline. First, as the animal enters the chillers, and then again, once the animal reaches to about 13 degrees Celsius, um, you can see there is no longer a significant impact between your control and your stimulated. And then again, with our final measurements here, as the pH drops below six, you can see that there is no difference between our stimulated and our controls. Interesting to see that there was no um, difference detected from our loin. Looking at our loin shear force and our aging data, you can see here that electrical stimulation significantly reduced the shear force values. In other words, had a significant improvement in tenderness. And then again, the aging period of the additional five days further enhanced this improvement in tenderness, seen here through the significance between the, the, red, the red columns compared to the blue. Looking at our shear force data for our semimembranosus, you can see that there's a clear age effect as well as a significant, um, shear, a significant stimulation effect with the blue columns indicating our stimulation mean compared to our control mean. 18 month old animals, as would be expected, have lower, <laughs> not quite sure what that is have lower, 18 month old animals have lower shear force values than 24 and 36 month old animals as would be expected. However, there was no gender effect on the semimembranosus and there's also no age or gender effect found on the loin muscle. I've spoken really quickly so I am sorry. But um, electrical, just in conclusion, electrical stimulation of our packer carcasses is recommended for producers and processors, as it's found to have significant improvements um, by reducing toughness, as well as reducing the risk of cold shortening occurring on these very lean animals. In addition, aging our packer meat for another 10 days has further improved tenderness, as well as electrical stimulation leading to improved quality and consistency, which is really vital for establishing new markets such as our packer meat. So although our packers are only a new industry within Australia, relatively speaking, the development of this our packer meat industry is really um, intrinsic to the commercialization and the sustainability of the industry and its growth as a whole. So implementing these, in, um, implementing procedures such as electrical stimulation and aging will really be fundamental in helping this industry grow and produce. Um, I'd just like to acknowledge my funding bodies, both Elawara Prime Alpaca and the Australian Government Rural Industries Research and Development Corporation for funding my project, along with my two supervisors, Dr Dave Hopkins from the New South Wales Department of Primary Industries and Dr Russell Bush from the University of Sydney. If there are any questions, I'd be more than happy to answer them. Thank you.